Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Cheryl with I Style My Style. And today we are going shopping. <laughs> you guys know I love to go shopping, especially when I have free money. So I have money gift cards that I received from my daughters for Mother's Day. And I thought I would go out to see what I could find. So I have $110 to spend and I want to see how far I can stretch it. So I have a $50 gift card to Home Goods and then $60 to just spend wherever. So I thought I would see how far I could make the budget stretch. Um, and I'm on the hunt for a few things. I showed you guys my Urban Loft. If you missed that video, my Urban Jungle Loft. If you missed that video, I will leave it linked in the description box down below as well as in the iCards above. But I have a space on top of my shelf that I need to balance out. Um, it's empty up there. I need something to, um, I don't know, balance out each side. And then I had some greenery up there, but it, it was a limey color green and I'm more into the darker, more vibrant green. So I'm on the hunt for something to replace that. So I thought I would take you along with me today. So if you love shopping, you love home decor, then make sure you keep watching. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. So let me show you what I picked up for a little over a hundred dollars. So our budget was a hundred and ten dollars and I want to say I probably spent around a hundred and thirty dollars. So a little over budget um, but that's because I did buy something for my grandson. 
Uh, he went shopping with me. So as many of you with grandchildren know, you cannot take them in the store without them wanting to go down the toy aisle. So the first thing I wanna show you, I picked up at Ross and it is this really pretty clock. I thought it was very unique looking. Um, it's brass in color and I thought it would look perfect um, upstairs in my urban jungle. And it was $9.99, I don't know if you can see that. So I thought this was a great find, so I picked this up. And then from Ross, I also found this really pretty, let me scoot you guys back a little bit. There we go. So I, okay, let's adjust. All right, so I found this really pretty marble. Yes, it is real marble. Um, I think, I don't know, it's not a jewelry holder, or you could use it as a jewelry holder or anything to, it's really a storage box that you can store anything in, but I love the design aesthetic of it. I love the little gold cap and the little gold feet. I thought it was perfect. And I am going to put this in my master bedroom and it was $12.99. Can you believe I found this really pretty heavy marble piece at Ross for $12.99? I'm sure this was part of some expensive collection because as you guys know, Ross from time and again will get items that are from very high end designer stores. And I bet you this was one of those items and I was able to snag it for $12.99. So if you're on the hunt for a storage box, go check out Ross and hopefully you will find it at one of your locations. So now we're gonna move on to home goods. So I was walking down the aisle and these caught my eye. I thought they were so pretty. I love the little detail on them. It's silver and black. And this particular candle holder was $12.99. And I found this one to go with it and it was $14.99, which I thought was a great price. I didn't find anything to go on my bookcase upstairs. I'm still on the hunt for that. So I did add back my, oh, my theater decor that I had up there for now until I find something just to balance out that area. And then I found these. Now I was on the fence about these. The thing I like about it is the brass detail at the bottom, but I thought these would look perfect outside on my deck for summer holding a candle. So can you see the candle inside with it shimmering at twilight? I think this would be so, so pretty. This was on clearance for $8, if you can see that. So I picked up two of these. I just absolutely love them. Again, peach is not my color, but for outside, I think it would work very well. And then I also found a candle. You guys know, we recently just came back from vacation and this candle reminds me of that vacation. It's by Sand and Fog and it's called Havana Nights and it smells, I don't know, it smells so, so good. You should try to pick this up. It was $7.99 and I loved it because of the aesthetic of the candle and the uh, amber glass detail. So I thought this would go perfect again in my urban loft upstairs to have this scent just wafting around up there. So, so perfect. So I had to pick this up. And then I went over to TJ Maxx and I found these really pretty decorative metal pieces. They remind me of those pieces from CB2 and I'll put up a photo here so you can see what I'm talking about. This one was 12, no, $16.99. And then I picked up a larger one and it was $24.99. And they're just decorative metal rings and I thought they would look perfect styled on my entryway table. Um, I don't know, I just love the aesthetic and I get the look for less because the ones from CB2 were like 40 
and $50 a piece, maybe a little bit more. And I got these for a total, I think 40, a little less than 40 for two. So perfect for me. And I get that same Lux look for less. So guys, that is all I picked. Oh no, I also, I didn't pick these up as part of the haul, but I did pick up a couple of things that I wanna show you. One of them is upstairs in the loft and I need your help with. And then I picked up these really pretty pillows from a Z Gallery online. They were on sale clearance for $22. And I just love the look of these pillows. You guys know that I'm going for an urban jungle theme here in my home. And I thought these pillows would be perfect to go in my living room. Um, so I am adding a touch of what I call urban jungles, but it's gonna be a little more urban glam jungle in there because of the pillows. But the pillows are black and white cheetah print and they have just the tiniest bit of sparkle on them as you can see here. Absolutely love them. I think they would look perfect in the living room and they will go perfect with these candle holders. I'm also gonna put these in the living room. So that's part of my urban jungle theme for the living room. And now let me show you the rug that I picked up from Amazon and give me your thoughts on it. And I also told you I'm looking for a new light fixture up there. So I need your help on that as well. I'm gonna show you a few photos. And yeah, let me know which one you like and we'll see which one I order. But I wanna get your opinion on all four. So let's go take a look. All right, so I bought this zebra print rug and I'm trying to decide if I, sorry about that, it's a dryer. Um, I am trying to decide if I like it here or if I want to send it back. So, I don't know. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the rug. Should I keep it or should I send it back? It was like a hundred and $40, I think. Sorry guys. Um, the laundry has stopped. So this was $140, whereas the large black one that's eight by 10 was 142. It also, it was $138. So this one costs the same and it's smaller. I don't know, leave me a comment down below. I did take the light green foliage back to Hobby Lobby yesterday. I, <sighs> out of breath. I have this um, little chess set up here. I wanna learn how to play chess. And so I bought a larger chess set to go on the coffee table. Um, so we could play chess or have my boyfriend teach me how to play chess. So I thought that would be nice. Um, I tried adding this part of bird of paradise in this, um, oh my gosh, today is not the day. Lawnmower going, dryer making noise. So anyway, I don't like the having florals and I still need to get moss to go in here. Um, I still need to do something with those pillows. But what I wanted to talk to you about was the light fixture. So I am, oh my gosh, really dryer? Okay, so what I wanted to talk to you about was the light. I need some help figuring out which light fixture looks best. So I'm gonna put up a few options. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know which one you think would work best in the space. I would so love it if you could help me out with that. <laughs> I'll need to start the dryer up again. So yeah, I need your help with it. I would like to order it soon. So leave me a comment. Let me know, do you like one, option two, option three, or option four in the space? I also picked up these little guys from Walmart. 
I think they were perfect for the deck for summer. These are table torches. And I just love the little faces. They could actually be, I don't know, they could pass for decor if they didn't have these little hats on top. They look like little hats to me. Something you would see um, the Shriners wear. But I thought this would be perfect um, for the patio. Again, I'm going for a Zen filling out there and I thought these would fit right in. These were $9.99, I believe, from Walmart. So a perfect buy there as well. Again, not part of my $110, but I did want to show them to you. All right, so that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this quick little shop with me and home decor haul and what I bought for $110, a little bit more, but we're calling it $110 because that's what I had to spend for Mother's Day. So yeah, give the video a thumbs up if you like today's content and please subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. I wanna thank you all for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for all my returning friends and family members. You guys always support me. You leave such wonderful comments and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you are new here, let me know your thoughts. Like, I know my channel is a little bit different, but that's, that's the purpose. You don't want to be like everyone else. You want to be your own person. So I try to feature things that are a little bit different to help you think outside the box and, you know, help you save money and give you that luxe look for less. So if you love home decor and you love shopping on a budget and just home decor on a budget in general, then this is the channel for you. And I would so appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell, become a member of the family, and I hope to see you in the next one.